And while he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking upwards towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Stories work on an arc. We call it a narrative arc, starting from the beginning, the moment a couple first encounters each other, the moment a disaster or a problem or an evil villain rises up, or in the Bible, the moment of creation. And they sweep over to the moment of endings, resolution. Romance is falling in love. Battle is victory and peace restored. Tragedy is a stage littered with bodies, but a fresh start being possible. This arc gives every story a sense within it of hope. And it's true with the story of Jesus. We're on the second day of Advent. And the question I want to ask is why do we start in Acts chapter 1, which feels like the end of the story of Jesus's life. He's just ascended to heaven and then he's gone on his way. But the people standing there are met with angels, just as they were at the beginning of the Jesus on Earth story, saying, why are you looking for him? Who are you looking for? He's arisen. The reason Advent starts here in Acts chapter 1 is because we're starting a whole new narrative arc. Let me explain. Jesus' whole life, his whole story begins with creation, with the Father and the Spirit, the Word of God at the beginning, speaking creation into being, and will end with the resolution of all things, with the kingdom of God and Jesus Lord over all. And into that big arc, we have three arcs. We have Jesus before creation, Jesus' incarnation on earth, and then we have Jesus' ascension through to his second coming. Advent is actually about the third arc. Advent's become, for many people, a looking forward to Christmas. We have our Advent calendars and we put the different items on them or we take them out of the windows and eat the chocolate. But the other part of Advent is looking forward to the second coming of Jesus. And this gives us hope. You see, in the story, in the arc between the beginning, the moment of first encounter, the moment where a um, threat is raised, the moment where a problem is arisen, comes the arc towards hope. And in that arc, there are battles, there are problems, there's wisdom given, there are challenges, there are difficulties, and there's the romance and the growing in love. The arc of the Jesus's life between the ascension and the second coming is both a battle and a romance. We recognise we're still in the spiritual war, we haven't fully seen the victory of God, and we recognise also that the bride of Christ, the church, and Christ will be fully united but now is a season of falling in love. So this season of Advent is a season of hope and it's a season of um, romance and falling more deeply in love with Jesus. Come on this journey with us over the next few days. The angel said, why are you looking from here? here? He is ascended, but wait for him because he will come back again. We look forward to Jesus's return. <laughs>